Hey, hey, hey. It is Friday. So, listen. Um, I know I've been very sporadic this week and last week. I know my stories have been off this week and this week. I know I have not worked out every day last week and this week. I know. But I am going to talk to you guys today about routine, about how things can happen in our lives that take us off our routine, and then we have a hard time getting back on. So, and look at this, look at this hair, my hair appointment tomorrow, I'm going to chop it all off. So, hair appointment tomorrow, my husband's birthday tomorrow, and today at 3 o'clock we um, close on our house. So as of three o'clock, we will no longer own a home until our new home is completed in 10 to 12 weeks. Actually, at this point, nine to 11 weeks, because um, I just dug the hole on Monday for our new house. So yes, we are still in the apartment. We are in our apartment for the next three months, probably. Probably till um, beginning September, mid-September. My guess is more mid-September, maybe even end of September. We shall see. But you know, all these things going on in my life, make things crazy right it makes me way off routine and I'm gonna be honest I have been struggling with this I have been struggling with not having a more routine where I'm at my house I get up at 4 30 I go in my kitchen I sit at my table I read my personal development I drink my go-go juice I do my journaling I post in my challenge group I reach out to my new followers and new people on Instagram do my workout in my basement um, you know, that is my routine. That's what I've done Monday through Friday for, gosh, I think I've done that routine for almost a year now. Um, actually, I've done that routine since I started at my new job, uh, which was October of last year. So it's been about eight months that I've been doing that routine, and that routine has been working great for me. I get it done. Obviously, sometimes things happen, like we'll have a late baseball game, <laughs> like we had... Um, last week and things go way way off off kilter and you know your routine just changes up a little bit and you add an extra you add a rest day during the week that you weren't planning on you know you just kind of adjust but this has just totally taken my routine off so I did get up and work out twice this week um no three times three Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I got up and worked out um no problem but Today, I had a hard time. I had a horrendous headache and I went back to bed. That I've been just, I think it's stress. I don't think there's anything like physically wrong with me, but I've been really, really stressed. So, yeah, my routine is off. My sleep is off. Um, you know, trying to work out this, getting my son to his activities when my parents live in a different town now, um, getting my daughter to daycare in a different town. You know, it's true that it. Our apartment is like literally like 12 minutes from our old house, but it still will add like five, 10 minutes on to everything. And you know, I still don't have that routine down. So I am gonna talk about routine. And Monday, a new routine starts. Monday, I'm gonna be back to 4.30 in the morning, wake up, doing my same routine. Personal development, drink my go-go juice, write in my journal, post in my challenge group, connect with my new people, and working out at 5.30. That is the routine. I think also because my husband's off this week, so he's not been working out with me, is kind of taking me off my routine. And that just makes things more difficult. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? So, you know, it's just complicated to try to do it. And obviously my routine always gets off track on the weekends because then I let myself sleep in on the weekends. Um, but this weekend we're going to breakfast um, with my in-laws tomorrow morning because it's my husband's birthday. Uh, then we are going um, to a brewery with friends tomorrow night. And then, you know, Sunday is Father's Day. So I'm hundred, don't even know what we're doing for Father's Day, but my son has golf. So this is just been a crazy week. Um, but yeah, I am getting back on my routine Monday. I got my 2B Mindset Tracker in the mail, the first package we got at our new apartment so I'm gonna be 100% on on Monday with my workouts I'm gonna work out every Saturday and Sunday I'm gonna work out also 
And my husband has also gone to two chiropractic appointments because he's had having some major back pain. Um, they're saying that his hips were on a line and that's why he has having back pain. So hopefully, um, maybe even this weekend, he'll be back working out with me. So that will also help the routine because, you know, I'm just such a creature of habit. Anybody else? Anybody else a super creature habit? And when you get off your routine, it's difficult. Um, yeah, and I am the person that makes lists. I am the person that like schedules out every single minute, right? I just schedule everything and that is what works for me. And I've just not been sticking to it, right? So we're getting there, we're getting used to it. So if you are having problems sticking to something, right? You set goals, you wanna lose weight, you wanna build a business, you wanna sell a house, you wanna pay off debt, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, you need to set a routine. Like you need to set intention why you want to hit this goal and you need to set a routine. So if you're saying, yeah, I want to build a side business, but I don't have any spare time, write down what you do every single day and then see what you can cut out. For me, to be honest, for me, it was television. Um, sitting on the couch watching TV with my kids after dinner. That is the thing that was wasting all my time. So now I save the things that I can strictly do on my phone for that time. You know, the kids are watching TV. They're not paying attention to me. Yeah, that's horrible to think about, but they're watching TV. We watch an hour of TV a night, you know, they're watching TV. They don't care what I'm doing, right? So I can get my posts scheduled. I can get my posts done. I can work on my tracker. I can work on my, um, my story graphics. I mean, these are things that I can work on when I'm watching with my kids. I can respond to messages because I don't cut paste messages. So I can respond to messages while I'm watching TV with my kids. Right? So that is what I've been intending to do, but things have just been so crazy with my son and all of his activities that it's just kind of gone to the wayside, but I'm going to get back to that. Um, but the things that need my full attention, they have to be for the weekends. They have to be done at nap time. When my daughter is napping, uh, I have to try to get up early. So I'm going to, my goal is going to be to get up at six. I haven't decided if it's going to be six or six 30 on the weekends, just so I can still make sure I get the stuff done. Um, so I can spend time with my kids, you know, go, go, go so much during the week that the weekend is when we really have the time to spend. So put my phone away in the other room and spend time with my kids. Like that is my priority. So that's kind of where I'm at. Oh, and I've also been doing something at nighttime. Like right before I go to bed, I find like a 10, 12 minute meditation on YouTube and I make sure the TV is off in the bedroom. I turn the lights off. I listen to this meditation for 10 minutes. Um, turn my phone off and go to bed. And it has been amazing. I've been getting so much better sleep. I did not do this last night and it was horrible. I had horrible sleep last night. So it helps. So find the things that help you with what you need, right? So, so it's time to do a few more visits and then close the house. Woohoo! Goodbye, Lake Geneva house. But you know what? It's sad. Um, we said goodbye to the house officially last night. Um, me and my son went and picked up some packages that were there. Um, and yeah, walked through the house, said goodbye. It's so empty and so clean and it's kind of sad. We're going to meet the new owners in a little while and like three, four hours after work. So yeah, kind of sad, but it's good. It's the beginning of a new chapter. And you know, building a house is exciting. Having a brand new house, everything we picked ourselves, it's exciting. So we just got to get through this summer, spend as much time together as a family as we can, and get back in a routine. <laughs> so bye guys, have a great weekend. Hopefully I'll come on again this weekend. Bye.